Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. Today we've got some mission darts. We have Martin Lukeman, the smash himself. Looking really, really nice on these. The grip's all right. Doesn't look over grippy, but I'm doing quite well with a smoothish sort of dart at the moment. But uh, what I think we'll do, we'll head over to the table and we'll have a closer look. Okay, we're over at the board with the Martin Lukeman Black Titanium Darts. Uh, lovely looking box. It sort of like goes from dark to uh, light green there. It's like smash glass imaging all over there. Martin Lukeman down the left, Mission down at the bottom. We've got the 25 grams, which are match weighted to 0.05 grams, which is really good. They're nice and closely match weighted. Over on the back, we've got this beautiful like smash glass glittery effect behind well it's the actual writing of his nickname smash a little bit there from mission showing you what's in the box and you've got the s lock rings the grip lock shafts and the 100 micron flights match weighted again mission logo some safety info but uh, we'll get the darts out have a closer look and here we go right uh, you get this sort of like plasticky velvet coated insert not the greatest but it does what it needs to it holds them nice and secure in the box you've got the three darts in a mission point holder and you've got the smash flights which look really smart there in the green and black and sort of like gray colors behind we'll get a dart out have a closer look and here we go right starting at the front we've got a black point there so it gives you a bit of grip in the board straight off they're not overly um, long either, so it's good for the majority of people. Then we've got a rounded sort of like ball nose there. It's really nice. And the titanium sort of like grey coating is fantastic. Adds a little bit more grip. Then you go to a slightly raised ring grip. Um, so they're actually wider than the front part of the ball nose there. So you can, can actually feel them as you run your finger down. You've got 10 rings there with very narrow grooves in between, so it's not over grippy. Um, I could feel a little bit there, but not loads. Um, I do have hard fingers and thumb. Um, and that's about two thirds of the dart there. Uh, then we go back into this blank section, which is like a, I'd say it's a triple wide ring. So like about three lots of those rings. Then you've got another two rings with three green colored grooves which really do stand out on this titanium coating and then obviously an etch mission logo and then it tapers down um only by sort of like a half a mil i'd say going into this grip lock um, stem which is short which is really really good um i much prefer short stems on flights and obviously you've got the ring there as well uh, the measurements for this one are 6.8 millimeters wide and 48 millimeters long I think that's really good sort of like general length and width now you can get a decent amount of grouping with that and obviously you've got quite a few areas to grip as well if you're sort of like mid and front you're on these and even if you're a rear thrower you've got these extra rings at the back which is really good they've really thought about so sort of like where people can hold on this it's not just designed for one person these are 90 percent tungsten as well which is really really good especially 25 gram it's got a bit of heft to it um but yeah feels nice i think what we'll do is we'll go and head over to the board we'll have a throw and see how we get on okay so we're over at the board we've got martin lukeman the smash darts here that lovely sort of green on titanium obviously from the black titanium edition so we're going to have a couple of throws just so I can get used to them. Uh, where I usually grip is that really wide, smooth section. So I might have to move slightly forward or back, but we'll see and adjust to it. And then we'll go into our 201 practice routine. So uh, let's see how we get on. We'll pull it into the treble one. Only 28. I think I might move my grip slightly forward instead of back. Yeah, that's made the adjustment. Oh, a little bit high. 140, that's better. We definitely made the right adjustment there. Quite happy with how they're going, so I think we'll go straight into our 201 practice routine. Game on. Oh, drifted a little bit. 
121. We adjusted straight back in, which was good. Only 80 left to get. Or oh, just on the wire. 40 scored, 40 left to get. Oh, a little bit under. And in nine darts. That's not too bad. Yeah, I think they're going quite well. I think if I played with these for a, a good hour or two, I'd get a much better grouping and do my better, better on the doubles, I think. That's what let me down a little bit. But uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll go and have a final review on these. Okay, I don't think we've done too bad. We've done it in nine darts. Started off really well. Messed about a little bit dude, with the finishing. But uh, yeah, felt relatively good to me. Not loads and loads of grip. Um, I only give them a grip rating of two. My fingers didn't fit into those grooves as well as I'd hoped. But I'd done okay. Um, they weren't smooth enough that my fingers were sliding off, which is really good. Um, obviously, there's loads of different areas to um, grip as well. So it'll be all right for front, mid and rear grip. Um, and it's 90% tungsten so the measurements on it aren't too bad they're 6.8 millimeters wide and 48 millimeters long so they're not over long and um, they're a little bit wider than some darts but you can still get a really good grouping consistency in the trebles which is really really good um, they're only in 25 grams um, so there isn't any choice to choose from other than these uh, some people can really get on well with a heavier dart whereas others struggle so obviously if you can get to a dart shop to try them or if somebody else has got a set you can try that'll work out really well because at least then before you go out and spend the money you can see if they're working well uh, talking about money the price point on these is 49 pounds and 95 which is smack bang around the sort of like 90 percent tungsten margin nowadays um, so it's not breaking the bank, but it is still a little bit of an investment. Um, if you agree or disagree with anything I've said, head on down to the comments section. I do try and get back to everyone as soon as I can. Head over to dartsreviews.tv, check out some reviews, and dartsplanet.tv. There's loads of articles and products there that you can check out as well. Tick notifications and tick subscribe because we've got some reviews coming up in the future that hopefully will really catch your eye and take your fancy. Might even help you make your mind up whether or not there's something you really want to buy. And as always, I hope you come back and see us again soon.